this is a good time. I'm so sad. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that I love birds. I'm not sorry that I love silk scarves. This is making me feel crazy. Today I'm going to show you and style every single silk scarf that I own. And that is no small feat because I own a lot of silk scarves. I am what one would call a silk scarf addict, a scarf lady, a scarfaholic, if you will. So how do you know if you're a scarfaholic or a scarf lady? You own this. <laughs> this is a scarf hanger and it has 28 holes for your delicious silk scarves. And I fill them all and more. So I know I have more than 28, which is a problem because there just isn't enough time to wear these. And I know that they're not all fabulous. So this is going to be a real test of which ones should I keep and which ones need to go. Because if I can't style it in a cute way, it's gotta go. I really do need to pare this down. But if you'd like to skip ahead to the styling portion, just look at the chapters below and move ahead. But right now I'd love to talk about silk in general and how to care for it. It's way easier than anyone thinks. So many people say, I want to wear silk scarves, but I don't want to have to care for it and hand wash it and press it. And that is not the case. You don't have to do that. I never do that. And I certainly don't treat them in a precious way. I take them on vacation with me. I'm mopping up sweat, tying up my hair, tying my hair back in windy locations. I'm shielding my neck from the sun with my silk scarves. And I got to tell you, a silk scarf for vacation, you can bring two or three uh, because they pack up into nearly nothing. They weigh almost nothing. They pack up very small and flat. You can have a nice variety for your vacation. They help you look cute in many different ways. If you wore the same basic white tank top on your entire vacation, but you had five different colored silk scarves with you, it would look like a different outfit. So they're very versatile. You don't have to be precious with them. They're easy to wash and dry. It's just throw them in the washer with your clothes and you dry them with your clothes. Yes, you put them in the dryer. You do not have to hang them to dry. In fact, if you do, they come out kind of stiff and then you have to iron them. But if you put them in the dryer for a bit, they puff up, they're soft, and then you can store them the way you like, whether that's folding and stacking or putting them in your scarf hanger, which is what I do. You shouldn't own any scarf that does not absolutely delight you. If it does not delight you, you need to donate it. I didn't plan ahead for that and it didn't rhyme, but it was kind of cool. You also shouldn't own any scarf that isn't a perfect color for you. It doesn't matter if it's a nice scarf. It doesn't matter if you bought it on vacation at such and such. It doesn't matter if it's not the right color and doesn't look good next to your face. You should not own it. There are so many beautiful things in the world. There is no room for anything less than what delights you. As I style these scarves, I'm not going to pick and choose my favorites. I'm not going to leave any out. This is gonna be raw and unedited scarf choices. And this is on purpose to show you that I probably have some junk in there that needs to go. Or maybe I will actually surprise myself with how I can style a scarf I feel to be less than perfect or the most beautiful. I'm going to classify these scarves by shape, size, and weight. So the shape would be square or rectangular. Rectangle can be a skinny rectangle or it can be actually a rather wide and long rectangle. And then the size would be small, medium, and large, you'll see. I'm going to be showing you everything, whether I like it or not. The weight would be light, medium, or thick. There's a huge difference between a super lightweight silk scarf, a medium, and a thick one. And their purposes are different. I'll be showing you all of this in the video. I think the best way to go about this is to just get going on the styling and I can talk about the scarves as we go. I'm so excited about this. I get to wear all of my scarves today. I'm a little bit nutty for my scarves. Scarves are so wonderful. They're so soft and delicious and they feel great on your skin. I just feel like they're a hug from heaven. That's not what I would say. I was just being stupid. Let's go. 
I was practicing my hand rolled hem. So I just took a piece of silk that I had and I cut it into a triangle of all shapes. This is a small size and it is a medium thickness. You can't see through it, but it's also not stiff or heavy. It's actually a beautiful color, close up. Now I'm forced to style it and justify keeping it. I'm gonna keep the length and I'm gonna fold the short side up and I'm not gonna be precious about it. I'm not gonna be sharp about it. I'd probably wear it just like this. Not bad. Not bad for my homemade triangle scarf. Next. Aha. Uh -huh. Here I have a very long rectangle silk scarf that is thin. This is a thin weight. Let's see what thin means. Look at that. You can see through it. You can see me. So this is a thin weight. This is a large scarf. It's a beautiful, beautiful color purple. Now, this is not my favorite length, but sometimes when I want a little breeze protection on my neck, I will just toss it around like that. Okay, this is outfit number two. Just threw on this dress that I love as kind of my everyday uh, modern, modern lady dress. I don't know what it is. I like it. It doesn't cling anywhere and I need a scarf for it. I'm just gonna go in the pile and grab one. Okay, this one, I have to admit, is not my favorite and is not a good example of a scarf that has a shape it's not even a silk scarf. Why do I own this? I, I guess I saw something in it. This is called a circle scarf. It's kind of more like a necklace. How is it? Would I wear this? I suppose I, I would in some circumstances. You know what? It's growing on me. It's growing on me the more I do this. Maybe that's the secret. Like anytime you're faced with something you don't really like, just do this a little bit and you like it, you know? I think that it might be worth keeping. I kind of feel in my gut that I shouldn't. Okay, well, we'll talk at the end. Maybe I need to get rid of it because more space equals more room for more scarves. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep on this outfit because it's a pretty basic black dress and um, I'm gonna keep it on for a couple of scarf choices. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna bring out this belt because my next choice is going to be this giant scarf. This is a big scarf. Not only is it this big, hold on. Not only is it this big, it is, oof. I'm standing on my tiptoes to show it. What an amazing piece of fabric. I'll show you the pattern up close. This is a thin scarf, but it is large. And I adore this scarf. So there's two ways I would style this. One would be to just wrap it around like this and wear it like this. And I've done this a million times. I think it's plenty cute this way. But today we're going to style it with this belt and we're going to leave it tucked into the belt. So this belt snaps in the back and we might style it around a little bit. I like this. This is nice. I'm just gonna stay barefoot. I am not here to style shoes. But you know what? That's not a bad look. I like it. I don't usually style scarves like that, but pretty. Another way you might style this is make it really, really wrapped around twice and big. And I do this in cold weather. And I wear this with my coat. It's a very pretty color. Okay, I'm gonna keep this outfit on for one more scarf. I have picked up this scarf. It's a square, and this is another homemade scarf. I made this out of a silk shirt. I was practicing my rolled hem. It's actually a pretty chunky and bad rolled hem. It was my first one. This color is not good on me, and I know it. Why do I have it? I guess I was just emotionally attached to it because it was the first scarf that I tried to make. But it is of a medium weight, which is not my favorite, especially when you have to roll it so many times. It becomes a little bit chunky and it's just not the color for me. Let's see how it looks. 
Hmm. It's not the worst. It's not the best. You know, I need to admit to myself, this needs to get donated. Donate! I'm sorry! Maybe this is somebody else's color and I'm going to totally make their day with this little square silk scarf. This is the last scarf I will use for this outfit, but I'm actually super excited about this one. I'd love to talk about it a little bit. It's a, it's a thin silk scarf with leopard print. Brown and leopard prints, not for everybody, but it's totally for me. It's a square. It's between small and medium. I'd say. And the leopard print is actually blue, brown, and beige. Let's get a close-up. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'll tell you a little story about it as I roll it up. I'm going to show you me rolling it up on my leg because I don't have a table here. I stopped into a resale shop in Paris the last time I was there. And you pay by the pound. So guess what? When you buy silk scarves, and silk scarves weigh nothing, you pay almost nothing. So I remember this scarf as one that I picked up in Paris. And who doesn't love things from Paris? That's a weird question. Who doesn't love things from Paris? I suppose there's some people out there that don't. Look at my little leopard print scarf from Paris. If you want to be a little sassy, you put the uh, you put the ends forward. Am I feeling sassy? I uh, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling sassy. Next, so I've decided to make a little challenge here for myself, and uh, with this red patterned dress, I love this dress. It's a little vintage '90s dress with little flowers on it. I'm just gonna look at the pile and I'm gonna pick something. We get the thinnest scarf in my collection. It's so thin. Can you see how thin this is? I'm actually afraid this one is going to leave me soon because look, it is leaving me, but not yet. It's not leaving me yet. I'm going to wear it right now. So when something is this thin, this skinny, and this long, look, it's nearly as long as me. I'm 5'9", for reference. This is like 5'7". This is a long scarf. So in this case, I wouldn't just put it around. Could. That's not a bad look. It really isn't. And um, if I just wanted to show off my scarf, I would do that. It looks like a vest um, when I do that. There's a couple ways I could style this, but I'm going to save that for the other scarves. This is the way I would style it. I would sort of get it folded in half, and then I would fold it a couple times, like this, to make a very small thin scarf, and I would tie it once around like this. And that's how I wear it. This is a beautiful scarf, and I will be so sad when it leaves me. But once again, whenever one scarf gets its wings, another scarf is ready to take its place, so we can't be too sad about that. This is a gorgeous one, though, and it used to have a tag on it that said Made in India, and of course it does look like that. It looks like an Indian print. Looks like a hand print. Oh, I will miss you. I will miss you. Okay, well, maybe I should challenge myself. Ooh, my floor is squeaky. Sorry. I'm going to challenge myself by staying in this dress and forcing myself to make another look. Let's do... Ooh, this is a challenge. I don't think I picked... Well, I'm going to put this one back. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. So what we have here is a pretty long, medium weight, silk scarf that is actually art. This is a gorgeous print from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Beautiful. Here's an example of a color that is not great for me. This brown, this uh, beige color is not really for me, but luckily there are other car colors in the scarf that are really, really great for me. You can see the difference. Like, I shouldn't wear a scarf this color but I should wear a scarf this color. So wherever it's nearest to my face, I should probably try to get this color near me, okay? 
You know, since this scarf is so gorgeous because it's really meant to be art, I think in this case, I would just wear it down like that. And I would just let people see the beautiful colors and I would just wear it like that. Now, what is the point of wearing something like this? Because it's doing nothing. It's not keeping me warm. It's not like I barely feel it on the back of my neck. It adds a little bit of swishy action. It blows in the breeze. It's gorgeous. Like that is something, that is something. The green part is kind of nearish my face too, so that is why I have kept this. I have just found it to be beautiful and it does indeed delight me. And that is the trick. Does it delight you? Yes. Next outfit. This little dress is super cute. Guess what? It's silk. Of course it is. It's like wearing a silk scarf. I've had this dress forever. It's from Banana Republic. It's nothing special, but to me, it's something special. I'm just going to go ahead and grab our next victim here. Okay, I have picked this large square scarf. This was sold at Anthropology, and it used to have tassels on it. And I found the tassels to be too much, so I removed the tassels. You see the little holes there? Look at this design. Oh, birds. I love birds. I said in my last video, and I'll say it again, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that I love birds. I'm not sorry that I love silk scarves. And this contains both of those things. This is making me feel crazy because I love it so much. So you want to know what delight looks like? This is what delight looks like to me. Okay, I might fold it into a triangle and then just go behind and then bring one more around like that. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that to me is everything wonderful that I love about scarves. The only thing that's a little unusual, that's not my favorite, is this is a medium, a medium weight scarf. I usually like them very thin. But it's light enough. You can see, you can see how fluffy it is. I just adore this one. I find it really nice to wear it with my winter coats as well, in any fashion, backwards, forwards, tied once, tied twice. Just look at it. Just look at it. I'm looking at it and I love it. Obviously, keeping, <laughs> keeping forever until it leaves me. Okay, keeping this dress on, gonna pick another. This is a weird one. Check this out. This is a decorative scarf that has flowers on it. And I actually, I don't think it's silk. I think I made an exception here. It's definitely not silk, but it's kind of interesting. Sometimes I wear it just like this. And I think it's kind of, uh, it adds an interesting element to a plain outfit. But usually, I like to wrap it around once and let it hang. Like that. I won't show you my feet. How about this? Pretty cute. And if you don't like it hanging down like this, just give it one more little tie. Right here. And maybe shift that off to the side. Yeah. I like it. I have on purpose chosen something very strange to wear right now. It's a vintage silk dress that I can't even remember where I got it. I don't know when it's from. It is the wildest thing I own, but it is like wearing a giant silk scarf. So this is the dress. This is the outfit. I've belted it. This dress has threatened to leave me several times and I have, I have patched it up. I'm never letting it leave. I see what I should pick. Here we go. Because you know what? I mean, if it's going to be, if it's going to be this wild, I actually have a scarf that matches and this is crazy. Medium to small square, um, probably medium to lightweight silk scarf, again, that I picked up in Paris. So I will keep it forever because I remember going into that shop and seeing all the silk scarves and knowing that they weighed nothing and I just thought I'm going to buy every silk scarf 
but I knew I couldn't because I was traveling. So I'm going to fold it in a triangle and I'm going to roll it up from there. And I think because I'm feeling a little sassy, I'm going to put the tie toward the front and off to the side a little bit. This is, this is a crazy outfit. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like a fun person in it and uh, who doesn't want to feel fun? I think if I were, this is not a daytime look. I think that this is, this is a look. It, I think it's probably more of an evening look, but it's fun. I like it. And I've never actually put these two together, but I totally would. If you do this, you'll like it even more. Just to be consistent, I'm going to keep this crazy dress on. I'm going to grab another one. You want to keep with the crazy theme. I think that we should pick this tiny little square bicycle man scarf. It's so thin too. And um, I got this one at the thrift store. So again, I'm going to fold it into a triangle. And I mean, if you're going to have this many patterns going on, you might as well just keep going. This isn't my favorite look. I know I can style this one better. So maybe I should change and style it again because it's not doing this scarf justice. Okay, since that last dress was crazy and I'm not going to cheat and try to style that with something that's not crazy, I've picked out this crazy blouse that I love. Oh, sorry about my squeaky floors. Um, I'm not usually a jean skirt kind of person, but I think this is pretty cute. And now I'm going to put on my bicycle scarf. I think that it's really going to pop the colors in this shirt. Again, I just folded it into a triangle, rolled it over until it was small, and then I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Don't tie it too tight around your neck. You don't want to feel it. That's the trick. You do not want to feel it. That's cute. I like that one. I also feel like it makes the yellow in the shirt come out a bit. Maybe I should put my hair back for some of these. Scarves are really cute for when you want to put your hair back. What does it look like with the ties in the front? <laughs> That's kind of cute. I don't usually wear the tie right there in the front, but I think this feels kind of like, for some reason, some sort of cowgirl outfit. It's fun. I'd do it. I would do it. So I think you all know by now how much I love silk and my love of silk also extends to blouses and I own a little too many silk blouses. This is one and I'm wearing it as an example because as soon as I put it on I went, oh, this is the sheer one. So if your silk blouse is a little too sheer or maybe you're not wearing exactly the right color undergarments like I am not, um, this is a quick fix that you can use scarves for. Ooh. Here is a quick fix for this. You can see that it's just maybe maybe a little too sheer. Maybe not for a Saturday afternoon, go to the farmer's market, but it's too sheer for work. Um, you know what? This is a good chance for me to pull out this. But, you know, if you need to strategically cover something up, uh, I mean, you really could just loop it right here and call it a day. I feel a little bit like a Girl Scout or a Boy Scout, so I might try it a different way. Oh, that's better. I think that's better. But notice, you just don't see, you don't see those parts anymore. <laughs> those parts. I think that this is an okay fix for this scarf, but I think I'm also going to style this scarf with something else because I don't believe that I'm fully doing it justice. But let's do something else. Okay, here's one of my favorites. You might have noticed the lighting in here has changed because this is taking me a while and the lighting is changing all over the place. This is a, this is an experiment, an experiment in lighting. Okay, here is a beautiful red silk scarf. It's between light and medium. I'll get up closer. It's one of my favorites because the red color is very flattering to me. It has butterflies on it, which I don't love, but I'm willing to put up with the butterflies to get this color. So I normally fold this in a triangle 
and then I just bring it behind and then back around. And I like I like this scarf to show a bit, but you want to make sure that that flat part comes up. And then I can either tie it loosely right here because I don't want it to be like strangling me. And it also hides that issue I was talking about. Nobody's looking down here. They're looking at my gorgeous red scarf. <laughs> I love this scarf. And sometimes I just kind of, I take it off to the side a little bit. So it's not so like triangle. Let's try it in a different style. I'm going to now take that triangle and just roll it up and I'm going to make a very long skinny tube of it. Then I'm just going to tie it right here and I'm going to leave the tail hanging down. How pretty is that? I think it's pretty. I'm going to say it's very pretty. How pretty is that? Very pretty. How can you not love this scarf? Why do I keep asking that question? And in that manner, can I just say, do you love this? No, I have to turn it into a negative. How can you not love this scarf? And this is what drives my friends and family crazy about me. <sighs> Beautiful. Never going to leave me, are you? Don't leave me. So in the interest of um, also playing with this too sheer silk blouse, I'm gonna try one other color. Oh, now this is interesting. Here is a silk scarf that I bought in Paris and I actually don't love it. This is exactly what I'm talking about, things you shouldn't own. It's not a good color for me. It's almost the color of this shirt, but, but it's a little more beige. It's just not, it's not my color. And then, you know, it has um, a little bit of navy and red. It has this faux embroidery look. I don't love it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel terrible. I feel like I should give this to somebody who does love it. And I think after this video, I will, but let's play with it. Let's put it on. In this case, you know what? In this case, it's great. I am so excited. <laughs> I've never found, I've never found a use for this scarf. But in this case, it's wonderful. It, it covers the problem areas. It's nearly the color of the blouse, so it blends in. It's got the same blues as the skirt. I think I'm actually going to wear this soon. Thank you for helping me discover this about my unwanted scarf. I was feeling very terrible about it, and this video has helped me discover my love for this scarf. Keeping it. Don't need to keep it, but keeping it. I think it's time for a new outfit. Okay, surprise, got a bright color on this time. How are we going to compete with this blouse? This blouse is actually not silk, but it's silky. And I, I really enjoy wearing it. But you know what is silk? These pants, these pants are silk. Of course they are. My love of silk extends to pants. Just about everything, really. We're not gonna try to shy away from this color or try to compliment in any way. We're just going to pick random, just a random colored scarf. <laughs> this scarf here, this is my favorite scarf. Extra large, very thin, hand printed silk scarf. It's so old that it has lost two of its tassels. I just discovered something. Hmm. I'm so sad, but you know what? That's why I learned how to sew. I'm going to practice my hand-rolled hem skills on it, bring it back to life. This scarf is never allowed to leave. Let me show you why. It's so enormous. But what we're going to do here is how I generally wear it every day, which is here, one wrap around, and here. I pray to the scarf gods to protect this scarf. I need it. This is my absolute favorite. I wear it as a winter scarf. I wear it in the summer. I wear it all the time. I wear it like that. I wear it like this. I've worn it belted in like this. I have worn it like this when it rains. I have worn it wrapped around until there's none left when it's very cold like this. You can see how lightweight it is. It just floats around and then I'll just tuck it underneath. 
so pretty. I just love this scarf. I could go on and on all day about this scarf. Obviously, this is a keeper. This is a good time to bring our purple scarf back out. I really haven't found a way to do this scarf justice until now. I think this is really going to work. This giant, giant, wonderful, thin purple scarf with this blue blouse. What do you think? I think that just leaving it here is fine. And then, you know, if you wanted to do the thing where you fold it in half this way first, and then maybe bring it in to make it skinnier, because it is pretty thin and then tie it around. Here it is from the front. It is very pretty. I like it. But here it is if I bring the back around to the front. And that's fun too. I like that a lot. Let's see if I can get that in the light. This is a good scarf. I don't wear it very often, but I think I've done it justice today with this blouse. Keeping it. Keeping almost everything. I'm going to keep this blouse on because I do wear it all the time and I want to show you a very common combination that I put together on nearly a weekly basis. So here is this scarf that I'm featuring. Look how thin it is. You can totally see me behind it. It's thin. It has tassels, pretty large, medium to large. We're gonna make it a triangle. That's usually the key with these squares. Now I'm gonna bring it behind and look how much fabric there is. I just adore this. And then I can either just let these hang like this. I wear this all the time. Or sometimes I give them a little tie like that. And I bring it off to the side like this. And if you don't like it, I could just go like this and maybe you'll like it more. I think it kind of, it tones down the blouse a little bit. If I'm going someplace more reserved. I don't know, I just love this color combination. Next. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Okay, we're gonna play with a red blouse now. Actually, here's the entire outfit that we're going to style. I do think this outfit is fine on its own. It's actually quite pretty. Um, but let's let's style it with a scarf. Let's see what happens. Okay, there, hmm, there's some there's some choices left. Let's go with this. I have no idea. Will this be good? I think it will. So this is a medium weight black floral silk scarf. Now I love florals on black. So I do love this scarf. I don't know if I'm going to love it with this outfit. We're going to give it a try. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to switch the outfit. I'll save it for later. No, I don't love it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Let's be clear on that. I don't like it at all. Here's a silk scarf that I have that I don't actually like. I don't know why I'm keeping it. Let's take a look at it. It's a heavy weight. It's very thick. It's a double thickness. It's got tassels. It's got this little detail. It's actually quite gorgeous and that's why I keep it because I keep thinking that I want to wear it like with a, a wool trench coat or something in the winter time and then I don't. You know, I don't think it added anything to this outfit. You know, I can't really think of any situation where this scarf is going to start working for me. It's too thick. The color is not great for me. Is it time? Should I do it? Should I donate it? I know I should. It's so hard. But when I think of the space that this is going to create, that thought is kind of exciting. So guess what? Donate! Finally. I was having trouble letting go of that one. But what does work with this outfit? I don't know. Maybe this one does. This is definitely one of my ride or die. What is this? Huh. Wow. I just discovered a little flaw in my scarf, a little damage, so I'm, I'm kind of sad. This has been through so many things. It's been to different continents. And let me show you all the different ways I use this on vacation. First, I'm going to style it with this outfit by making it into a triangle, rolling it up nice and small. I'm going to put it around the front, bring it around the back, and tie it off to the side a little bit here. While I don't feel that this outfit needed it, you could totally wear it like this. And I really don't have a problem with it. But right now, I would like to show you why this is my favorite vacation scarf. So I'm going to put on a vacation outfit. Hello, this is my standard vacation outfit. What this is, is a bodysuit, goes down to my ankles, and my linen shirt that goes over my arms when I'm out in the sun and absorbs sweat and is a wonderful vacation 
item. Now, let's talk about the millions of ways I use my vacation scarf. And don't get me wrong, this is not the only scarf I bring on vacation, but I do bring this on every vacation. Suppose I am going hiking, and it's going to be very hot and sweaty. Turn my head over like this, tighten the triangle behind my head like this once, flip my hair back over, <laughs> this is good. Arr, matey. Okay, and then I tie it around like a ponytail. So it's like this. I know, I know. Hold on. And then it's perfect for keeping the sweat off of my forehead and off of my hat. It holds my hair back in a ponytail. It's perfect for this occasion. I love this. And it feels great. And it keeps my hair under control and keeps the frizz down in a humid environment as well. Next, vacation scarf look. Of course, you could just tie your hair back in a ponytail with the scarf as well, so that's another thing you could do. So sometimes when you're out hiking and you have your hiking hat on, the sun is off of your face, but it's not exactly off of your chest. So that's where your vacation scarves really come in handy. You will lightly tie them behind and then kind of choose your amount of of sun coverage here, like that. And, and then I might button my shirt because I really, I don't need the extra sun damage there. I think I did enough on my own in the 90s. Let me show you another vacation scarf trick that I have. Sometimes you're going swimming and you really don't want to get your hair wet. I always feel silly, like I'm in water, I should expect to get splashed, but I get so annoyed because sometimes you're having a good hair day. So if that's the case, let me show you how to easily tie all of your hair up without a hairband. So you start with the triangle and the flat part, flip your head over, put the flat part at the back of your neck, bring all your hair out, give it one tie, one tie only, and then grab your hair and put it into the triangle here. Can you see? Stuff your hair into the triangle and here's the back of the scarf. Now bring the back of the scarf forward and take one of the ends and twist them together and then take the other end and then you can tie them together. And then you can twist them and stick them in your turban. And you can feel cute like Carmen Miranda. She's so cute. If you don't know who Carmen Miranda is, please go look her up. Legend. So what's another thing you can do with your vacation scarf? You can just mop up your sweat. Like I said, it's so easy to just wash them and dry them. Should have no issue taking your vacation scarf everywhere. I've probably messed up my hair for the rest of this video. Who cares? Who cares? Not me. I kind of do, but not really. Enough about vacation scarf, but this honestly, this is the best scarf. I love it. Stay forever. I think it might be good just to leave on this vacation outfit because it's so basic, you know? It's just so brown and black and actually not that cute on its own. Let's see what we can do with the scarf. Let me pick something very fun. Speaking of fun, this is a scarf I probably shouldn't keep. What a weird one! And if we're gonna describe it by shape, this is not any shape that any scarf is. And of course, I think you might know why. Because I made it. <laughs> I don't even know what this means. The guy gave me this, this silk for very cheap, so I just thought, okay, let me practice my hemming skills. This is not a rhombus. Is this a trapezoid? Is this a, um, par no, it's not a parallelogram, is it? <laughs> it's been too long since I've been in school. Here we go, we're gonna try it. I'm just going to fold it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fold it like this lengthwise. I'm gonna make sure a little bit of that special is showing because why else wear it? You know what? It's cute, but I think this is the kind of thing where you have to be a little sassier with it and, and you have to bring the tie around to the front or off to the side. It's kind of fun, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give it away. I know I don't need it. I just thought that it was fun because it said special but you know that's just not enough it doesn't delight me and what did i say you must be delighted <sighs> donate can you believe it there's some scarves in the donate pile okay what else can we do with this boring outfit how about this this is a long rectangle I do believe it's silk, but I think the silk is mixed with some other fabric, but it is beautiful. Look at this. But you can see the super sheer sections here. 
I've always loved this scarf. I always feel like I'm on the verge of ripping this one into pieces. And to tell you the truth, I do love the color and I've enjoyed wearing this scarf, but when it goes, I won't be as sad as I will with the other favorites. But this has been, this has been a pretty good scarf. And even though this is a boring outfit, it can kind of spice this one up. So if I were wearing my travel outfit and I were going out to dinner, I could put this over it and change my shoes into something nicer and it would change everything. And the color is really nice. It brightens up my face. You could also turn it around like that and that's really cute. And this is why you must bring scarves traveling because look how much this changed my outfit. So I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to take it off. Boring! <laughs> Definitely bring your scarves traveling. I can't say enough about it. Okay, one more scarf look with this outfit. What about this little guy? Thin square with a delicate little pattern. Yeah, I got this in Paris. I know you know. I'm not going to say it again, but I did. I'm just going to put that in a triangle and roll it up. I'm going to put the ties near the front this time and see how that looks with my travel outfit. I love it. Much cuter, don't you think? Or shall I say, do you not think? Because that's how I talk and it's confusing. I do love this little scarf with this and I feel like it's, um, it's subtle. Some of your scarves can look crazy and some of them can be subtle and this is one of my subtle ones. Speaking of subtle, I'd like to show you my most subtle scarf. In fact, I think of it all the time and I think that scarf is so boring, I should just get rid of it. And the reason I don't is not because I got it in Paris, which I did. This is the most boring scarf I own. Plain blue. Why did I even buy it? Because sometimes you need something boring. When everything else is crazy, you need something boring. Sometimes you need a scarf that you're going to tie up your hair and then go water skiing in and you can't be afraid that you're going to lose it because it's your favorites. That's when you bring out your boring scarf. And this is my boring scarf. Oh, I think I, I got a little oil on it there. I got oil on the boring scarf. And you know what? This is exactly what I'm talking about. So I got an oil mark on my boring scarf. And look how I just don't care. I don't care because I wouldn't get oil near the other ones, but I wasn't afraid to do whatever in this one. And it was probably, I tied up my hair before bed and I put oil on my face. And I'm gonna try to wash it out. It'll probably come out, but that's why you need a boring scarf. So you know what I'm gonna do? In honor of my boring scarf, I'm just gonna put it on this boring outfit and see how it looks. It doesn't look bad. Boring scarf is pretty cute. It's not flashy and that's okay. Sometimes people don't want to be flashy. I don't know who those people are. It's not me. Here's a nice not flashy travel look. Keeping the boring scarf. It only delights me because it has a purpose and that's enough to delight me. The pile's getting smaller. Okay, let's see if we can't get through this pile of scarves. There I go with my negatives. Such a negative speaker. I put on this jacket by Zara and I put it on over my uh, travel cat suit. So um, we're just looking at the top half anyhow, but that's that's what I'm wearing. Let's see what we can do with this crazy thing. Aha, 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 aha. I found something. Oh gosh, there's still some in the pile. Okay, a little square, a little tiny square. You can just guess where I got this from, can't you? I know you can. Wonderful little light scarf. Triangle, wrap it up into a tube. And I'm gonna put the ties behind because I feel like this jacket is crazy enough on its own. Excellent, I love it. I love the way the little red pops with the red here. That is super cute. I, oh, squeaky floor. I'm definitely gonna wear this. And look, even cuter now. Should I try another one with this crazy jacket? I'll try. Keeping it, of course. Oh goodness. There's not a whole lot in the pile that <laughs> is complimentary to this jacket. Methinks we need to switch the jacket. Okay, so let's go a little more serious here. I got my blazer on. I'm still wearing the cat suit because I have found that this is the easiest under outfit. <laughs> under outfit? I think I just made up a word. Under outfit. This is the best under outfit. You wear it to the thrift store, you wear it traveling. It's amazing. 
You wear it under your blazer and you wear it with your little red silk scarf. This is one of my favorites right here. I wear this all the time. Look at this. Look at this little beauty. It's light to medium weight, a square. Of course, I'm just going to fold it like that. In fact, I'm not going to fold it like a tube this time. I'm just going to keep it in a triangle shape. I'm going to tuck it behind and it doesn't wrap all the way around. So I'm going to tie it behind. It's very small. And then I'm going to point that triangle off to the side. I like that. That's kind of sassy. I think I do like it a little more rolled. Okay, I rolled it really small. I like it like this. This is a good look for this red scarf and this red blazer. And if I go like this, you're gonna see what I mean. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I just spotted something in the pile I need to show you, but it can't, well, maybe it could be with this outfit. What we have here is a giant cotton scarf. And the reason I keep this is because it absolutely delights me. It's like a huge, handkerchief. Look how gorgeous this is. It's of a medium to heavy weight, so it gets very bulky very fast. What I would do with this one normally is make it into a giant triangle. Now notice that it's not quite square, so this happens. And it really doesn't matter because we're going to do a messy wrap around with this. So <laughs> with this one, I am going to tuck the ends underneath and hide them under there. And I'm gonna have this giant cotton scarf on, which is great in the fall and in the winter. I love this look. I love the bulk this creates. So, you know, not everything can be silk all the time, but it could be, but maybe it shouldn't be because then you wouldn't have things like this. How blasphemous of me to say that. But look at this, this is cute. You should have some scarves that also create this nice bulk. They have to be of a really great fabric. It can't be just any cheap fabric. It can't just be any pattern. You must be delighted. I'd like to show you this with my travel outfit actually because that's how I usually wear this scarf. This is my, this is also a travel scarf but I only bring this as a travel scarf if I have room for it because this is bulky but there's a couple of different things you can do with it. As a triangle, I will often use it to cover my shoulders. And that is reason enough to bring this scarf. It's wonderful for that. You can use this as a sort of sarong, which I have done in the past. And I, you know, it covers up your booty when you want your booty covered. And then I'm going to put my travel shirt back on. So I would often find myself kind of walking around like this, which I think is cute. It kind of looks like a skirt. I suppose that you could even bring that knot around to the front and that's something you could do. But mostly what I do with this as a travel scarf is I do the same thing I did with the blazer. But I just wanted to show you how cute it looked with my travel outfit. My travel outfit's not cute, but this is. So maybe I'll do two looks with this scarf. This is a hand-painted scarf from India given to me by a wonderful person who knows art and knows beauty. And she was happy to give it to me because she knew I would appreciate it. And I totally do. You could just put this on because it is real art. And you could just wear it like this, which I think seems like a fine way to show off the beauty of this one. I think that, you know, also if you wanted to wrap it around once, that is also very nice. I'm going to change the look with this because I know you're tired of looking at my travel outfit, hearing about my travel scarves, telling you all about how I can tie my hair back. At least I'm not talking about Paris. Come on. Okay, so I figured I should do one look that is kind of expensive and more of an evening look. And this is my found at the thrift store, but very expensive jumpsuit. I tried it on and immediately fell in love with it and pulled the tag out that was still on it and it was $700, people. $700 brand new. Got it at the thrift store for about eight. And then I got this weirdo jacket at the thrift store for a few bucks, but I always wear it out to fancy art events and people seem to like it. This jacket has a bunch of flappy things on it. And uh, usually I wear one as a scarf, like this, kind of asymmetrically. But this is not a scarf today. Today, putting on the artsy outfit, 
the one that I can wear to art galleries and people think that I know things whether I do or don't. Let's go through these last couple of scarves. Well, I did say I was going to give this one another look, so let's put this on. What would I do with this? Well, this is a lot of action going around up front, so I think in this case I would wrap it around up here and not let it hang down. And I would give it a little bit of a tie. And in the winter, I think that this is a perfectly suitable, subtle, dark, serious look. I might also, without the jacket, so I'm kind of a sucker for these silk, velvet, burnt out scarves. Maybe they are for older women, but am I young? No. So I think it's a suitable look for me. And I'm just going to put this like this because it is art. It has gorgeous tassels and we're just going to let this be what it is with my expensive jumpsuit. And I think that is a pretty classy look. I love that. Gonna keep it. I never wear it. Gonna keep it. One more with the jumpsuit, okay? There could be many more with the jumpsuit, but I'm going to do this black floral square that's sort of a medium to light weight. I love florals on black. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna do the triangle and the wrap around and the little tie. And I'm going to let my hair be in it because that kind of makes the look a little more casual and it might make me think that I have uh, short hair for a little while. You know, if it's not a hot day, I kind of let my hair sit in there and uh, pretend I have a bob. I think this is cute and I like how the little bits of color pop out up here. It's very subtle, very nice. I could have shown more of the red. That's probably what I would do because the red is good for my skin tone. There we go. How about that? I like that a little bit better. If I really wanted to show more of the florals, then I would have been more careful with the placement of everything. You might even want to leave it more covering your entire chest. Sometimes when I'm wearing something low cut like this, I don't want it to be so low cut. So I will take a, a scarf like this and I will tie it back here and not bring it around. And I will just let it be covering this whole spot like that and then I don't ever have to think about what's showing here and I can do other things like talk about saving the whales or about architecture from the 1500s or I can talk about silk scarves a new look <laughs> I pulled my hair back because scarves are often shown best when your hair is pulled back and you know I think this is a good chance for me to try to restyle this special scarf because I'm really not sure if I gave it a fair shake. Let's see if it just works on me. If it doesn't, I swear to God it's going back in the donate pile. Mm. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to take it out of the donate pile. What do you think? Say so in the comments. I'm really on the fence. I'm tempted. Okay, taking it off before I think any further about it. But I want to talk about this dress that I picked up at a thrift store on a whim. I was in Phoenix, I was getting ready to leave town, I was at Goodwill, and I thought, I really need a t-shirt dress. I need a dress I can just throw on in the summertime and just put on my sandals and go. I didn't realize that this dress that I picked up off the shelf and went out the door with was so bodycon. Like, when I wear this dress out, people go, Oh, why are you so fancy? Where are you going? Ooh, lady, you know, and uh, I don't exactly like that kind of attention. So in order to take the attention off of all of the curvy stuff, um, what you could do, and what I often do, is I will take a scarf like, oh, this is like a repeat of the other one, but with no tassels, because I took the tassels out, and it's a little thinner, and it's more brown. I'm going to turn this into a triangle. And I'm just going to tuck this underneath and tie it underneath, not over. And this makes it a different look. It's still, it's still bodycon, but you know, the attention's up here. The color's up here. And you might want to take it off to the side a little bit. But I really like this for um, taking the dressy edge off of this dress. I'm going to do one more scarf with this dress. And <laughs> we're going to do, I don't even know if this is going to work. We're going to do one of my favorite long ones. Are any of my long ones not my favorite? I think I love all my long ones. All my giant scarves. Here, let me give you a close-up look. 
there's a little yellow thread going in here. It's got a beautiful, beautiful pattern and color. I think with this one, I'll do the same thing where I want to bring the attention up here because I could just leave it here. I could belt it here. Those are both options. But I think what I want to do is make it really puffy and big up here. So I think I'm going to tie it. Mm, does this work? <laughs> it's a bit much. It's a bit much. But this certainly is one of my most favorite scarves. I mean, just look. It's just gorgeous. So, of course, it delights me. Um, maybe not with this outfit, but it's also not horrible. So I'm not going to change my outfit. Plus, this is a great travel scarf. And I don't think you need me to whip out my travel outfit again. Next, look at this. This is a very casual look for me. This is a normal t-shirt. This is my t-shirt and jeans. But instead of jeans, I've... I've chosen this really crazy looking cotton skirt because I'm all about the fabric. Um, it's light and floaty. It's almost like not wearing clothes. So that's why I like it. And I'm going to model my last two scarves with this outfit. This would be a normal summer outfit for me and I'm going to choose this strange silk scarf I picked up at the thrift store. It's a medium weight. It's got this little edge to it, little scalloped edge. Um, it's not hemmed at all, but I'm just going to fold it up a little bit. I'm going to fold the edges in. I'm going to see what that's like. Okay, maybe about that, that width. And I'm going to leave these draping down the back, like that. That is a fine look for going to the store in the summer. I like it. It adds something up here. Let's compare it with and without. With, without. Yeah, very plain without. So I, I definitely, I keep that one around because it's pretty basic. And the last one, the last scarf is not exactly my best. I told you I went in random order. But this is a very common scarf for me to have with me on vacation because like my plain blue scarf, I don't really care what happens to it. I felt very ashamed saying that in its presence. <laughs> but here it is. It seems to be some sort of crazy 80s or 90s pattern. It's a strange color. Purples, orangey reds, pinks. Bizarre. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, scarf. So what I do with this one, the same I do with my plain blue scarf. I use it for everything. But if I were gonna wear it with this outfit, and I don't think I would because the colors don't really go. But sometimes, when I'm heading out to the store, I'm not thinking about what colors I'm wearing. I just think, wow, it's a little bit breezy out there. And I think that I would like a scarf on. And if that one's available, then I would definitely do it. So I think what I'm going to do is pretend here that I am headed out to the store. This would be a normal going to the store outfit. And then I would do my normal going to the store scarf tying and this would be it and this would be a completely normal way for me to go outside I'm just not overthinking anything here but if I were going to overthink it I wouldn't have worn this skirt I would have worn something more complimentary these colors like like this how did I do that it's magic um, this is just a suede knee length skirt it lets this scarf shine a bit more and you know I don't really feel like, I need to have my hair up for this. So how many did we end up with in the donate pile? I'm ashamed to say this. Donate, donate, keep. I can't help it. But I've created two spaces in my hanger of dreams and I'm going to fill them someday when something delights me. I shouldn't be ashamed of that. I'm a little ashamed of how many scarves I own. Let's take a look at the ones I kept in the hanger. What did I learn today? Almost nothing. I already knew how much I loved my scarves. I did learn that I need to be more discerning when I pick up silk scarves because it's so hard for me to get rid of them. So, let me leave you with these parting words. 
you should only collect silk scarves that absolutely delight you and you will always be happy forever and ever until the scarf tears and then you have room for the next new one. That's not a good quote. That's my quote. I've got nothing better up my sleeves. Got no sleeves. So drop me a like if you liked this. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time.